Hey Jonathan here, in this video you're going to be learning how to do the ninja aerial. So we're getting a lot of comments, ask for an aerial tutorial or for some ninja moves. So I wanted to make this one, this is kind of a little more advanced form of an, it's like a mix between an aerial and a butterfly, but it's a really fun one that I like to do. You can add it in combinations. So if you get this move down, you're going to be able to look like a really awesome ninja. This move looks really smooth, but more importantly you're going to be developing a really strong core and good flexibility because that's what's needed in order to get this move down. So if you don't have a really strong base of flexibility or good core strength right now, don't worry because there's a lot of simple progressions I'm going to show you in this video that you can start off with to safely and, and easily build into this move. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we start learning this ninja aerial, it's important that we have some prerequisites down because it will make this move a lot easier. The first two moves that I'd recommend learning before we start training this one is the butterfly and the cartwheel. And preferably learning in this order, the cartwheel and then the butterfly. So the cartwheel looks like this. Very simple move and then the butterfly looks like this. So the butterfly, if you haven't gotten that one down yet, there's a tutorial that you can watch right now by clicking on the link uh, we'll put it somewhere on this video and you can click on that to watch that because I highly recommend you get that one down first because essentially for this move we're going to be taking that butterfly and turning it into this ninja aerial that we're going to be doing. It's also important to note that this ninja aerial is going to be different than the conventional gymnastics aerial. With the gymnastics aerial we're going on a running takeoff if you want to but Essentially, we're going straight with the aerial. So our setup is like this, or setting like this. Our body is going straight, and as we get inverted, that's when we're making the, the small rotation. So just like in the cartwheel, over here, that's what we're doing with our body with an aerial. For this ninja aerial, we're not gonna have that setup. So we're not gonna be going straight out like this and getting a, a, a far out set. We're actually going to be keeping everything contained really tight. And so that's where the butterfly motion comes in because we're using that butterfly motion to keep everything really close. So instead of jumping out like this, like the conventional aerial, we're going to be coming here like this. And so this allows us to keep in a smaller area. And so, other than, so compared to the butterfly, where our body's horizontal, instead of being horizontal, we're going to have the aerial form as far as our legs are going to go straight up and over. Alright, now let's go into the technique. I'm going to try to break this down really fast for you in some three simple steps. So, step one is the setup before we go into the jump. So, just like in the butterfly, we're going to have a similar setup. Our legs are going to be you know, slightly wider than shoulder width apart. And we're going to start by cranking our body to start going into the flip. So, we're going to wind up so we can create a lot of momentum so that we can get good height and good speed into our rotation that we're doing. So we're gonna start with our, I like to go to my left side, like so. So I'm gonna wind up to my right side. So wind up to the opposite side you're going on. So I'm gonna have my arms here, my hips shifted a little bit over, and my weight on my right leg on the outside. So we're gonna start here. Then essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna be rotating our body, our core, and going down low to this leg. So with the butterfly, we dip like so. For this one, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be starting here and cranking down. Now, when we crank down, we're going to be setting up for the jump. So we don't have to rip too hard, but we want to get there quick so that we can lift up into the jump. So the setup's here. We're here, we're going down, and this foot is going to be facing this direction. It's going to be facing uh, right in front of here. So we'll start here, go to this position. So that's the first, that's the first step, just from here to here. The second step is when we're actually going to go into the jump. So once we've reached this position for the jump, what we're doing is we're going to be using our arm, our leg, or our back leg, and our front leg, plus our chest, and our core to lift us off the ground. So a, a really good note is that we want to keep everything straight 
and have good technique. So as we're going through this motion, especially with the jump, it's important that we keep our core solid. We keep our back straight. So we don't want to be hunched over. We don't want to be arched like this. We want to just have a nice, good position here and have uh, the leg straight as well as we go into the jump. So when we jump, we're going to be lifting off this leg. This is going to be pushing us off the ground. At the same time, we're going to be throwing this, this uh, inside arm, our left arm, back and up. And our back leg is going to be lifting up at the same time to drive over our body. So as we jump, as we lift, remember all three of these things are going to be lifted. So we have our, actually four things. So we have our arm that's going to be driving back. We have our leg that's going to be driving up and over. We're going to be jumping off of this leg and we're also going to be lifting with our chest. This is a big mistake a lot of people make is that whenever they go for the jump, they don't lift with their chest. So that means their whole body stays low. And so they throw themselves down and they don't get any height. What we want to do with this jump is really lift with everything. So we're cranking here, we're starting low, and then we're lifting. We're exploding with everything up in the air. So we're here and we're jumping up. Now that was more of a butterfly form, but it's very similar. So what we're going to be doing, now that we have the jump, we're going to go into step three, which is the rotation and landing. So once we're here, once, once we jump and we're in the air, it's important to have this ninja aerial form that this leg goes straight over the top. Or it doesn't have to go completely straight over. We want to go pretty straight over because that's what's going to separate from the butterfly. So the butterfly, we would be here. That's really low. For this one, we're going to be going over the top. So it's more straight. So we're here. And we're going over the top to give it that nice form. And so once we've rotated, we're driving this leg all the way over as fast as we can. It's like a kick. We almost want to kick as hard as we can up and over our body. Because this leg is the leg we're going to be landing with. So we're here, rotates over, land on the ball of the foot so we can have a nice smooth landing. And then the follow through leg will come down. Now if you want to, you can add a kick at it at the end of this. So we're here. Kind of kick down, rotate the hips, or we can keep it more stationary where we're here, and we land more straight. That's really the play on how you want to move your hips once you come out of the move. If you want to come out with a kick, you can turn them out a little more and step forward. Now, so those are the three steps. It's really not that hard to break down once you once you break it down like that. But uh, one of the big things is that as you go through this move, really focus on keeping your body, certain parts of your body straight. So you want to keep the back straight. You want to keep the leg straight. And if you focus on these two things in particular, it's going to help a lot with getting more height and generating more momentum to get the move done and to make it look smoother. So we don't want to have our legs bent. It won't look good. We won't get as much power. You want to keep them straight and keep your back straight. So that we can really get so some nice kicks going on. So just another helpful tip, whenever we're going into this, because this is a mistake I made uh, closer at the beginning when I was learning this move, is that as we go down with our head, we're gonna be, pretty much we're gonna be spotting an area on the ground or even in front of us like so. So as we're here, we're gonna be rotating around this area right here. So really we don't, we can, uh, keep our head neutral is uh, what some, some people like to do is they'll end up twisting one way or the other. So if you really think about spotting one area on the ground, that will help a lot as far as keeping your body uh, centered so your legs go around your body and your upper body isn't twisting in any weird ways. So again, I'm just going to look at a spot on the ground or in front of me as I lift up. So that way, it really keeps me centered. So I can just do the move nice and smooth. Now that we know the technique, let me give you some really simple, helpful progression steps. That way you can you know, easily build into this move without having to try to just go for it for the first time, because that makes it really tough. We're gonna
do small progressions so we can get our muscle memory and the basic coordination down so that it will be a lot easier to learn this move and we won't get injured trying to learn this move. So the first uh, progression step is just like a simple cartwheel form. So we're going to be putting both of our hands down. So we're going to uh, simulate the same technique that we just learned except for instead of trying to lift up right now, all we're going to do is just focus on having our lower body uh, perform the right technique and then placing our hands down where we'd, we'd be rotating. So we're going to start here and then place the hands down come up. So this is very similar to, to a cartwheel except we're just using the exact same form uh, as we just went over. So here and just do that a few times where you're placing the hands down really focus on your legs keeping them straight and rotating over your body and placing uh, your hands a little bit behind you. So as you're here, we're going to be placing them a little bit behind us. So instead of the cartwheel where we're straight, it's going to be more behind us here. Okay. Once we've done that progression, we can move on to the next one. And this is where we're going to be using our hands, but instead of placing them down from the very beginning, we're going to kind of hop into it. So we're going to go the same thing, except instead of going straight down to our hands, we're going to try to jump a little bit, try to get a little bit of lift so we can feel what it feels like to not have our hands down. So we're here, lift it, and then place our hands down. So we're using our hands to kind of catch us after the jump. So we're here, here. So we're getting a little bit of lift. Now, if you can go in ahead and, and do, if you feel comfortable, and you can go in ahead and try the move, then go ahead and try it. You might feel pretty good after a few of these practice ones and just barely placing your hands down, you might you might be able to feel that you can rotate all around or all the way around. So if you can, try it. Go here, come around. If not, if you're still having trouble, this is where we're gonna go back to the butterfly. So we're gonna use this progression to kind of help us build our jump and get used to this technique. So instead of putting our hands down, we're gonna use the butterfly technique and instead of uh, going straight over where it takes more work and more effort, we're gonna go a little bit in front with the legs. So instead of going straight up into it, instead of going here, we're going to go a little bit out with our legs, go a little more horizontal and not use as much jump and force. So we're here and we're just kicking out here. So that way we can get used to it, build up the coordination without having to fully go inverted. So we're here. You can play around with that. Work on keeping your legs tucked maybe at the beginning and then straighten them out as you get really comfortable. And once you have that butterfly, then all you have to do is make it more inverted. So you start going really wide and then you start going more and more over the top to where you can. And then eventually you'll be more straight up and you can perform the move really smooth. Okay, so those are the progressions for this move. Make sure to start small and then gradually build. Remember, this isn't a race. You may not get this today, so it takes time. It took me, you know, a matter of months and even years of training other things to finally uh, combine different moves and to get this one down solid. So it will take time. But if you train properly and use these techniques and use these progressions, it's going to come a lot easier. So that's the Ninja Aerial. Start training that technique and those progressions and start training it today. Now, for those of you who are in our Parkour Academy, I'm gonna be throwing in some extra flexibility and workouts for building strength for this move. So you can look forward to that inside. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're just getting started in parkour or movement, then I want you to click the link in the description. You can pick up our five day free training course, get a lot of great tips and stuff in there, and uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel. I'm going to be doing some little bit of acro, showing some little bit of aerial action, so subscribe while I'm doing this stuff, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.